camera hidden in his bag, enters a shop which has a cash machine inside. In his hand he has what is known as a skimming device. Now that the coast is clear, he moves in to fit the device over the card reader slot. This device works in two ways. The skimmer is able to read the magnetic stripe of your card and is fitted with a hidden mini camera that is overlooking the pin pad to record the pin number. Jess now comes to use the cash point ahead of another queuing customer. He will be our first mark. What this move does is to prove subconsciously to the mark that the machine is perfectly safe. Having seen Jess successfully get some cash out, the mark will suspend any possible suspicions that he might have. Now the first mark inserts his card. The skimmer reads his card details whilst the camera clearly captures his four digit pin. His card is returned and he takes his cash. Even though the cash has come out, he's already lost out. His details have been captured by the hustlers and yet he doesn't suspect a thing. And now comes mark number two. Again, the machine reads the magnetic stripe on his card and the camera records his pin. Once our second mark has collected his cash and left the shop, Paul will move in to collect the skimmer. With two sets of card details bagged, our hustlers will show us how this becomes a money spinner. Essentially, the next step after having read the cards and taken the device off the cash machine is downloading all the information from the card reader onto a laptop. Then the hustlers would use a very cheap card reader themselves, which you connect up to your laptop. What that enables them to do is to program other cards. Now, all they need is another card with a magnetic strip on the back. Mobile top-up cards seem to be the hustlers' favorites at the moment. Any mobile top-up cards will do. They take them, swipe them once to erase them, and then swipe them again, thus programming them with the card details of one of the numerous cards that they've copied. Now, armed with that, they can now go to a cash machine, stick that top-up card in any cash machine, and withdraw cash. Mobile phone top-up cards. Don't believe us? Just check this out. Alex is now going to use this clone card in this ATM. He inserts the card. Uses the marks pin recorded on the minicam. manages to withdraw this £100 cash. He later returned the money, but some of the devices being used by the real thieves are even more elaborate. Um, this one here um, is, a, is basically the whole fascia that would go over a cash point machine. Um, as you can see, it's very authentic looking. It's got all the stickers that would normally be on a normal cash point. That will be stuck down with double sided tape onto the cash point, so the rear of it is quite crude see that it's uh, all bits of electronic stuck in with different forms of like airfix and airfix type uh, glue made up of bits of card you can see all the bits of card they use to create the slots um, and to the top of the top of the ATM they'll put normally something like this um, inside here you have a little pinhole camera and, and there's certain bits of electronics that are stripped out of mobile of cameras and what have you and that sends a takes a picture of you putting your pin number in. There's a couple of things you should definitely watch out for when you're using your cash card at any cash machine anywhere in the world. Number one, if there's anything protruding, sticking out, looking suspicious, anywhere near where the card slot is, do not use that machine. Try and find another one. And number two, and most importantly of all, always shield your pin. Remember, if hustlers get what's on the back of a magnetic strip, they cannot use it without your pin number.